Hello everybody, Sly Starcraft back with another Zerg vs. Zerg video number two of the day. I know it's hard to believe. Um, I'm probably not really going to believe that this is my second video until it actually goes up. But uh, as far as I can tell, this is Starcraft 2. And this is my first game after my placement match. I was placed in Masters, obviously, because I am just so good at this game. The map is Whirlwind, I believe. Yes, I don't even have to look at that anymore to know how good am I at this. It's almost as if... I ladder more than once a day. Holy shit. But it's another Zerg versus Zerg. I wish I could give you more variety, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, I don't choose what the Blizzard gods match me up against. Plus, Zerg is OP. I mean, you saw Sulky come back four games in a row against, what was it, Innovation, I think it was, ZVT. And I gotta say, man, people better not QQ about Zerg being overpowered because, uh, Innovation was just like creaming him, and then Solki did three basically all in type things, mind game type things, and saw some proxy racks and stuff like that. And only in the last macro game was he able to take the game, but uh, that was pretty awesome. I still think it was staged. I think it was trying to build up hype for StarCraft 2 in the Korean scene because I know they like to do that kind of thing. Koreans, man, they're the most dishonest of all the Asian races. I know that much. <coughs> Excuse me. Probably not a good thing to say when uh, I probably have a lot of Korean viewers out there. I'm just kidding, anyway. Uh, but not really. So I'm going to be going 15 hatch once again. I feel like this map is relatively safe for 15 hatch just because there's four locations. The distances are pretty far apart. <coughs> Excuse me. Jesus, that's probably really annoying to listen to. Uh, I should like set up an annotation and say, Size about to cough now. If you want to mute the video, then you probably should. So, yep, just like last game, building up to 16, last game I was able to, uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, last game I was able to take just because of a uh, decent transition, Mutas did, I think, enough damage to be worth it, not a ton of damage, but I think my economy was pretty far ahead at that point anyway, he went for a fast third, and I don't really keep up with the Zerg versus Zerg metagame, so, uh, maybe that's pretty standard now, is to take that fast third, and it's kind of like when you play against someone who's so bad, and is doesn't know the game at all so that they just catch you off guard with tons of ridiculous shit. I feel like that's what I might be doing for the next couple matches, like ZVZ, all matchups, just because uh, uh, the metagame is always shifting like crazy, and I just kind of stick with my old faithful builds and stuff like that. So once again, you do want to keep your overlords on the move in a Zerg versus Zerg just because it's so hard for them to get anti-air early. And uh, I, I always forget that, and I always keep my second overload over the hatchery, so... There goes my spawning pool, two queens on the way, as well as four lings. Gonna be rallying all my drones to my natural now. And you need to be over here so you can see if he's actually expanding over there. I like to take expanse over on the left side. And overlord and a drone, so this overlord can uh, go over here, check out this third base. Don't want to send it too close, because by the time this overlord gets over there, there's gonna be queens on the way. Although, these lings are going to be scouting anyway, so I don't know why I'm even worried about that. A couple more drones on the way. And I forget if I, like, get a spine. Do I get a spine? I think so. Right? I don't know. I do want to get speed. So here's his base. I'm going to be shifting all my overlords towards this base just to uh, check out all the paths that his units could take to my base. You always want to see what your units, your enemy's units are doing. It's like StarCraft 101, basically. Oh, I hear something's under attack. Don't even look to see what it is. I just send my lings back. And he actually killed that. How do you kill a Zergling that's moving, not on attack command? He must have got, like, really stopped up by the pathing or something. David Kim, get that shit together, you fucking piece. This is not a PG channel. But oh my god, he's going for a Ling all in. Holy shit. Oh, that's really fast speed. Oh my god. Well, I do have a spine, so that's good. I am taking off gas because I'm not going to need gas to defend against this. Just get another spine. Oh my god, I need overlords. Oh, fuck me. Oh, he's just going to run by. That's pretty smart, actually. No. No. No, oh, don't attack the spawning pool. I feel like I'm handling this pretty well. Spine down here can be repositioned. Yeah, this is pretty good actually. This guy is. I don't know what that was all about. But that's why you want to keep your overlords on the path, because that kind of shit can just like fucking come. That's what she said. <laughs> so that was pretty good defense. I'm gonna go ahead and go for a counterattack just because uh, he's if he's not droning or if he's not droning up right now, he's gonna be behind. And if he is droning up, I feel like uh, 
these lings are going to do a lot of damage. So let's do that. I'm just going to drone up behind this. You guys need to be rallied up here, actually. There we go. So we'll see what he has. I am going to be careful for banelings, so I don't want to send them all in. I'll just send one in at first. I do need overlords. Oh, he's got nothing. And this is what happens when you cheese. I wonder if I can kill this, actually. Oh, you're so toast. You are so boned. Blue River Bone. Oh, he's got transfuses. Okay, actually, that was really good. He's not boned. That was really good. He even saved the queen. Okay. So this game is no longer uh, as lopsided as I thought it would be. Pretty good defense by him. He actually has a decent amount of drones. Oh, my goodness. And he's got a lot of links coming towards me. I do have three spines, however. There is a cat in my closet that I need to let down. So let me go through that real fast. I'll be right back. Okay. Cat has been successfully extracted. And I'm going to go ahead and just block off this. So this is... Uh, this is... Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. He's going for the spine. He's got a lot of freaking links. Holy shit balls! Don't kill... I'm going to get another queen because he's obviously going to kill that queen. I'm going to reposition this spine up here. Oh no! Queenie! Get another queen up here as well. Uh, I don't have lings. Where are my lings at? Go, 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 go. Damn, he's killing a lot of drones. Do I just want to go ling bane ling all in? I think I do. I think I just want to go mass lings now. Ling bane ling all in. Because he seems to be going that route as well. I do want to get one spine actually up here just because he's doing a lot of run by. The only problem is he killed my queens and that's going to hurt a lot on my larva. Shit. I did rep reproduce my queen pretty fast, which is always a good thing. But uh, where do I want to make these bangs? I'll make them like right here. Look at all these bangs. Oh my god, that's so many bangs. My queens weren't dead for too long, but long enough to make it this all in be much less effective. I'm going to try to poke up here, see if he's got bangs of his own. He's got a lot of spines. That's for sure. I think I might be able to kill him with this many banelings. If he doesn't have any banelings of his own, I think this is going to be it, actually. Um, so let's, let's move on in, I guess. He's gonna be, he's gonna shit himself when he sees these links, man. You just wait. He's gonna shit his britches. Look at all these banes! Does he have any of his own? No, he does not. He's getting a roach worn. So I'm just gonna crash into these spines, basically. And just go to town. <laughs> yes! Oh, he's got roaches! Is he gonna hold this, too? Shit, this guy's a monster. He's a madman. You have a lot of flings, but he's got a lot of roaches. Don't hold this, please. Don't hold this, please. Shit. Shit! I should have gone for his mineral line with those banes. What was I doing? Oh my gosh, look at my freaking minerals. Could I be any more ridiculously over mineralized? Oh no. No! Why didn't you blow up? I attack commanded you retards! Fuck me! Uh oh. Bad. This is not good. Opposite of good. Opposite of good is bad, and that's what this is. I got my injects going at least. Alright, get in there, Lings. Is he respining? Yes, he is. Fuck! Fuck me. This is not good. The worst part is, like, my minerals is just so fucking high. It just tells you that I could have been doing so much more. So, alright, let's not give up. Let's go ahead and make sure he doesn't get a third. Do we want to go mutas, or do we want to try to outroach him? Uh, I think I want to just try to outroach him, actually, to be honest. I have so many minerals, I feel like mutas just would not take advantage of that. So I'm just going to go roach. Actually, I don't need two evos. I already have an evo. I'll go there. I do want to synchronize my upgrades just because it's easier to remember, so... Actually, no, plus one attack is pretty important, so... Let's do that. I'm just going to try to... I'm just going to hope that I've slowed him down enough with whatever I've been doing, which I'm not exactly sure, and just try to outroach him, get roach speed, that kind of thing. And I'm going to... I do have a macro hatch, so I've got that going for me. I feel like he might just move out pretty quick here, though, so... I'm kind of concerned. And, yep, there he is. Gonna move this spine back down. Is my Roach Warren almost done? Come on, Roach Warren, I need you. 
There's the Roach Warren. Let's get the Roach Speed. Is he... Was he actually pushing in? I don't think he can stop these spies. I've got Spores on the way, too. Oh, he is going to go for it. This is actually really good for me. If I can get, like, a surround on him when right when my Roaches pop. Oh, man. Don't go down there. That's cheating. Oh, yeah. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. Pretty good. I got Roaches in the back to shoot away as well. Does he have Burrow? He does have Burrow. He has Burrow. That's fine. As long as he doesn't have Burrow move. I can reposition these. I think he has bro, right? Oh, bro, isn't it? Yes, it was. This is good. This is good. He wasted his money on trying to get burrow, and it's not working. All right, so now I think I'm ahead again. I do want to wait for plus one before I move in. If I do move in, I'm just gonna take a third uh, attack behind it very timidly once my speed and plus one completes. And uh, see what happens. I do want Overlord speed. And let me get another Overlord here. Just so I can see any kind of tricky burrow movement stuff he might be trying. Looks like he does have this base up here too. This guy's crazy. He's all over the place, man. I think I'll be able to deny this though. <clears throat> yeah, it's just now starting. So that's good for me. Gotta remember to eject that macro hatch. I keep forgetting it exists. Let's go deny this. I got pretty good overlord spread. Able to cancel that. That's awesome. I'm going to start my plus two at the same time. And this is where uh, I can just kind of milk my lead. I do want to make sure he doesn't switch it up into mutas or get any infestors into my base. Something silly like that. So let's go ahead and start my plus two upgrades. And I didn't actually see what he had for upgrades. Looks like, oh, he's, he's zero, zero. He actually got a ling upgrade for some reason. Three Avos, burrowing those roaches to try to hide his count, and I mean, if he's not doing any kind of switch, then he's he's toast. I have my third, I have better upgrades. Uh, I don't see a switch. I mean, it's very possible. Like, I really want to find this out. This is extremely important. Like, I'm so far ahead in this game, unless he does something tricky like that. Uh, so let's get actually a couple more overseers. Again, I'm playing it ultra safe here, I'm positioning them so I can see any burrowed roaches. Looks like he's going to try to take that base again. And I think I might just want to max out and go for a 2 2 timing. Because look at this, he still has no upgrades at all. Looks like he might want to be aggressive towards my third. No? I don't think he's hiding a base. A lot of you, like in the comments, you're like, Sai, what if you had a hidden base? You don't really hide bases in this game. It's, it's much more difficult, especially in ZBZ, you don't really hide bases. Uh, so he's being annoying up here. Not too bad, though. What was that? What was that? What was that? Hydro Sten. Okay, that's fine. Got these changelings, which are going to be awesome. Oh, is he really going to move out towards that? He's Looks like he's trying to time it with his plus one. But uh, I have way better upgrades right now. A little bit oversaturated here, so let's make some spines. One more rally of roaches, and my upgrades should be done pretty soon, and then I can move out. So we kind of like each try to do counterattacks, counterattack, counterattack that didn't work out too well, and it's kind of biting us in the ass. But he made the last counterattack with those roaches that really just didn't do a whole lot, and now he just hit plus one. I'm gonna be moving out when I'm plus two. Even if he has Hydras, it won't really matter. He can't really afford to have a good Hydra Roach composition on two bases. This third base isn't complete. Making sure to have Overseers with my army. Uh, just because he has Burrowed Roaches, obviously. And uh, now I am now 200-200. So let's get Hydras with my own Infestation Pit to prepare for T3. And good defense there. Probably could use a Spore just because he might want to Burrow to do stuff. Lots of Spines, so I'm just going to ignore that base and go for his Natural. The Spines aren't actually going to do a whole lot. Um, kind of silly of him to you know move him like that now I'm just gonna go for his natural there's no way he has that many at his natural those were probably all of them yeah they were um is he gonna move him again no I'm kind of hoping he'll move him again I think I just want to slam these roaches into his face to be honest just because look at my I have so much larva I've got three base to his two base I actually just killed some burrowed roaches here look at that I think and let's just move in let's just do it yeah, that should be pretty good. Oh, get back. My upgrades are better. And I'm just going to rally mass roaches. Yeah. Just trying to get those spines in there. These upgrades are huge. They're making a huge difference. Mass rallying roaches. Still maxed out. You'll notice I'm just continuing to rally. And uh, while that wasn't the best engagement, he killed a lot more than he should have. Uh, it didn't matter. I knew I had the economy on him. He just now got this third base. Like, let's check out the minerals here. 
He's got 1355 mined. I've got 200 more on each patch. So what is that? Like uh, 1600 more minerals roughly, which is a lot of units. Uh, my larva was really good. I had the macro hatch. Not sure if he had a macro hatch. And just, of course, the upgrade. So we both tried a series of counterattacks. I think my counterattacks tended to do a little bit more damage. He made a lot of spines and a lot of blockage with Evos. And I was able to take the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Here come all my rallying roaches. And as always, thanks for watching. Remember streaming today. Minimum.